Fans, heatsink, and processor removal. To remove the CPU fan, you have to remove the number one hard drive slot first. Do this by pulling the hard drive cartridge towards you. Now pull the CPU fan straight out towards you as well. There are no cables to unplug from the CPU fan. Now inside the memory riser bay, there are four Phillips screws that have to be removed. The back two screws use a number two Phillips screwdriver. And the two bottom Phillips screws take a double zero Phillips screwdriver. Now that that is loosened, you can remove the heat sink cover. On each heat sink, there are four screws located in between the slots here. To make the screws more accessible, it's easier to remove the plastic vent located here. Apply pressure to the top while pulling from the inside. A Torx 15 screwdriver can be used to remove the screws from the heat sink. After removing the screws from the right side, move to the screws on the left side of the heatsink. Once the screws are removed, unplug the temperature sensor cable and remove the heatsink. and then follow the same procedure for the last heat sink. To remove the processor, just simply unlock it and flip up the bar, and then the capsule will open. Then you can remove the processor card. Now to remove the rear fan. Simply lift the entire assembly up and out and unplug the cable. 